Hello everyone, we are continuing our conversations about skin cancer and treatments. Today I am thrilled that I have Mr. Kyle Baptiste, who is the Regional Director for Gentle Cure. I love their tagline, tough on cancer, gentle on skin. This is a treatment with superficial radiotherapy that we employ and have for quite a while in our practice to treat uh, very specific types of skin cancers. Superficial skin cancers, cancers on areas that are difficult to heal, like extremities in older patients, meaning legs, arms, also in cosmetically sensitive areas. So Mr. Kyle, welcome. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me teaching everybody about the company and the treatment. Let's talk about the company first. Well, uh, the company is called Skin Cure and um, our brand is Gentle Cure. Uh, you may have seen some commercials on, on ear, um, but our company started in 2006. Uh, we partnered with about 10 dermatology practices in Texas. Um, I joined the company in 2018. I was the first therapist hired in the state of Georgia. Um, to date, we have uh, 309 partners and one of our strongest and best partners are you guys, Dermatology Consultants in, uh, in Buckhead, Atlanta. Um, so what we do is we find great partners in order to partner with, and we bring this modality um, to the patients um, so that patients have opportunity to be able to get treated with radiotherapy. Um, and um, we partner with great practices. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we're thrilled to be part of it. We are thrilled that we have you not just in the Atlanta office, but also in the Covington office. So this is, available throughout the practice and it's really an interesting process for me who of course practices dermatology on site and our patients appreciate so much when we can complete treatments without sending them off to the hospital so i watched the process of installing this wonderful technology in the practice let's still talk a little bit about that what happens when a partner signs on just so a patient can understand that this is really quite a complex process it, it, it is so once we do um, find a partner to work with um, you see the room here it, it's a beautiful room but behind these walls we had to take everything down um, install some lead lining in order to make sure that the room is safe uh, we also uh, installed this machine uh, pretty heavy uh, equipment here um, this machine, it does um, use kilo voltage, something very similar to in the dent dental office, um, in order to uh, treat the skin cancer. It also has an ultrasound on here so that we can see underneath the skin, so we can see the skin cancer and create the correct prescription for it. Uh, and we can share that with the provider so they can see the progress of the patients. Um, we also make sure that once we do our build out, the room looks exactly as it was. You see how beautiful this room is? Um, you can't Very tell much that part of the was practice. <laughs> you know, I, I love that from that standpoint. All right, so we have a room, we have the technology, a provider sees a patient, there's a diagnosis made, and then we put a patient in your hands. I know that there is a little bit of a process, that there right. is some insurance approval. So let's mention that, and then let's go step by step what happens when the patient arrives for the first time and then in continuous treatment? Okay, so um, if Dr. Pere has a patient that she identifies that has a skin cancer, we'll take that information along with their insurance information, we'll submit it and make sure that it's approved for treatment. Um, sometimes that can take about 48 to 72 hours. If it requires an authorization, it might take two weeks. Um, but we always wanna make sure we get that information out, out front because we wanna inform the patient fully of what their out-of-pocket costs may be so they can make a fully informed decision. Um, once we get that information back, we schedule them for what we call a simulation. On that day of simulation is when we start to take a look at that cancer um, underneath the ultrasound. Uh, we'll do an ultrasound so we can measure the depth and that lets us know what prescription we're able to give that patient. Um, once that simulation happens, uh, we'll send all that information to Dr. Perez. Let's, let's kind of get close here so we can really see what happens. So photographs and measurements are taken. Yes. And then uh, again, depending on the depth that you see on the ultrasound, um, that's that's what determines the, uh, the prescription. The prescription. Yes. Yeah, so what are we seeing here on the screen? So this is um, a patient's skin. This is the surface of the skin. And what we're doing is we're measuring the depth. And it looks like it's, when you look at this image, it looks 
very large, but really it's only 1.2 millimeters we're seeing here. Okay. Um, so we're making sure that we're covering to the millimeter. Um, so now that I see that this is 1.2 millimeters, I know exactly what I need to do from here. I know that I need to use a particular energy to make sure that I penetrate all the way to the base of that cancer so we can make sure that we kill the cancer and allow that skin to come back healthy. Right. And how many treatments typically in the series that it takes? So we typically schedule our patients um, for 20 treatments, uh, usually three times a week, but the appointments are very fast. Uh, we have you come in, your treatment is probably gonna take you about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's walking back, getting treatment, and probably walking out the door. Right. Is it painful? You feel nothing, you yeah. feel nothing at all. And then what about recovery? You know, when patients go through the treatments, uh, what, what kind of things can they expect? Well, what you can expect is what you can expect if you spend a long day at the beach, some redness of the skin, tenderness in that area. Um, we'll always advise you to cover that area from getting exposed to any other types of sun. Um, you wanna make sure that you keep this area moisturized. Um, take care of it like it's, like they like to say, like a baby's bottom. Like make sure you take really yeah. good care of that skin and um, mostly just redness of the skin is what you can expect. And then at the end point, once everything heals, I think that's the beauty of this treatment is that you arrive after the healing process happens with normal looking skin. Exactly, it actually sometimes looks a little softer and newer than other parts of your skin because that layer of skin is brand new. We pride ourselves at Dermatology Consultants on bringing technology that's science-based and supported. So let's talk about this a little bit. What percentage, the percentages as far as uh, healing and complete elimination of cancers, the skin cancer the company has seen? Because I know a lot of studies have been done. Yeah, so we've done quite a few studies, and as a company, we've treated over 70,000 lesions. And based on that experience that we've had with those studies, we were seeing a 99% cure rate and a 99% satisfaction rate from patients. Yeah, I think we've been very impressed. Of course, as we stress, this is one of the tools that we have in the practice, and we've talked about mouse surgery and excisions and uh, photodynamic therapy, but this is a very important tool. Of course, skin cancer is what we're focusing on this month, but this is not the only thing that we treat with this technology. What else has this worked for a while? Well, we also treat keloids. Uh, we have a lot of patients who um, suffer from keloid skin. They might have a, a procedure or maybe got their ears pierced and that keloid comes in. Um, that's where we come in to help with that. So once that keloid grows in, if they get it surgically removed, we can treat it with three doses. So that treatment only takes three days. Uh, those treatments are very quick and we've seen about an 80% um, cure rate with the treating keloids. Yeah, and I think that that's so impressive because I know those are so frustrating to the patients. So I love having that tool to offer to our very diverse group of patients that we see. So um, we've had wonderful support from the company. Last but not least, I want to know how do you become a provider for the company? What is the education that you ask? You, of course, are in the level, uh, upper level management, but when our technicians work with the patient, what kind of training do they have? What kind of degrees do they carry that the patients can be comfortable that they have a provider that's well-trained and understands the technology? Of course, so all of our therapists are required to have a bachelor's in uh, radiation therapy. Um, we also take them under our wing because most of our therapists worked in big cancer centers in the hospital and we have to train them specifically on how to use this equipment and how to work within their environment. One thing I do pride myself on is trying to hire the best people because the person that needs to be in this um, practice needs to be able to not only be a great therapist, but also be able to manage and um, be able to uh, provide a level of care that the practice already provides. So I wanna make sure that that person fits within the culture of the practice. So, they need to have the skills and the personality to do so. Well, Mr. Baptiste, I think you've accomplished that because our patients really love your providers and we do consider them part of our dermatology consultants family. And again, this is um, such an amazing tool. We like to treat and have tools that address skin cancer in many different levels. So please come see us. Please come see us for a skin check and hopefully we won't have you in this chair, but if you do need the treatment, so many great options. 
including superficial radiotherapies available. Thank you again. It's been a pleasure.